bringing you God's healing word and God's prophetic word on healing campaign. And uh, I'm so much glad, very glad to be with us today. And God has given me a word, a special word for you. God has given me a word for you. I was praying some moments ago and the Lord said, go on a healing campaign and say this. It's time for me to act. God says it's time for him to act. It's his set time to act. That's what God is saying. That's what God is saying. I should tell somebody, it is time for him to act. It is the time of the Lord to act. It is God's set time for God to act in that business, in that situation. It's God's set time to act in your family, on your behalf. God's set time to act. The action of God produces laughter for you. The actions of God will produce victory for you. The actions of God will bring breakthrough into your life. The actions of God will bring triumph into your life. I want you to, in a few minutes, very quickly get somebody here to get this, to share with us in this prophetic word. I want you to invite somebody here. I want you to share. I want you to subscribe. I want you to like Tell somebody that it's healing campaign campaign. And oh Marie, God bless you. Tell somebody it's healing campaign and that weekends are not complete without healing campaign. Weekends are not complete without healing campaign. Weekends are not complete without healing campaign. God says he is set to act. God says I should tell somebody he is set to act. God says I should tell somebody he is set to act. God bless you. Be some blessing. Please let's share. Tell somebody to tell another person that it's healing campaign time with your favorite woman of God. I mean, I've been so happy today, so elated in my spirit with powerful testimonies coming in. Some of the testimonies coming from healing campaigns, some of them coming from church. My please, Barbara, God bless you. Please let's share. Tell somebody, tell somebody there is a prophetic word. There is a prophetic word. Welcome, Akum Julia. God bless you. There is a prophetic word in the house for them tonight. Tell them, tell them, share, share. Share, share, tell somebody, Asok Noela, God bless you, good evening. Tell somebody to tell somebody, tell another person that God is set to act in their lives now, tonight on Healing Campaign. Please get your phone, get on your timeline, get on your status, get on your Facebook timeline, on your Instagram, everywhere, everywhere, everywhere. Good evening. Echi Unis says, I look beautiful. God bless you. Echi Unis, Echi Unis, there is a word in my heart for you. There is a word in my heart for you. There is a word in my heart for you. God has sent me to someone tonight. God has sent me to someone tonight. God has sent me to someone tonight. He says he is acting on your behalf. God says he's acting on your behalf. There are a number of things God told me in line with this word. But I want us to get a number of people here. Get somebody. Get your loved one. Get your friend. Get your brother. Get your sister. Tell somebody healing campaign. Insist. Insist. Insist that there is a word here for them. An urgent word for them. Here and now. Insist there is a word here for them. Thank you, faithful Father. Thank you, Lord. Father, we give you praise for tonight. We thank you for what you have done before and for what you were set to do. Thank you for the move of your spirit on this platform. Thank you for everyone connecting now and after this session. I give you praise, precious Holy Spirit, because this is a life-changing moment. I thank you because that sick person is getting healed now. Thank you because that person in captivity is getting free now. Thank you because that person in bondage is receiving your light of freedom now. Thank you, oh God, because that person in huge debt is getting free. It's coming out by the knowledge of your word. Thank you, oh God, because that brother, that sister who is lying sick in the hospital is receiving healing now. Oh, Rebaba, the Bible says that healing is the children's bread. I pray tonight for as many as are connected to this session. I declare and I decree that the healing hand of God is coming up upon your life in the name of Jesus, healing from every disease, healing from every affliction, 
healing from oppression. I declare and I decree freedom tonight. Lord, somebody is just tuning in. Somebody is just getting connected now and in touch with your grace on healing campaign. I ask, I ask, and I ask that this very moment they rise up and walk. Oh, Rikadabosha. This very moment their feet regain strength. I declare and decree that this is a miracle time for somebody. This is a miracle time bomb session for somebody. Oh God, hearing my voice now, right now. I declare and decree the healing hand of God is extended to you. It's extended to that person that you're believing God for, for them to be healed, to be delivered. I declare that the hand of God is extended to the ICU. Wherever they are, the hand of God is extended. That freedom is coming upon somebody tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Kadararabo sita la maya ha. Raba ba 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 bo shanda la ba ya. Riga da da bo sekele bara ba ba ya. Raba ba ba regede de bo shaya. I connect everyone around the world to this word, to this word in this session. Malamaya shia la da da bo siya. Regede bo bo shaya. That as you hear the words coming out of my mouth, you're coming out of that dark corner in the name of Jesus. That as you hear the words coming out of my mouth, you're coming out of that situation. You're coming out of that emergency. In the name of Jesus, I declare that your contact with this session right now is releasing speedy divine intervention to your direction and to your favor in the mighty name of Jesus. You are believing God for an instant miracle. You are believing God for a huge miracle. You're believing God for something that he would do that would change the story of your life and your family. I declare and decree that on this session, as you get in touch with the words that are coming out of my mouth that miracle is yours that breakthrough is yours in the mighty name of jesus the lord says you waited long i hear the lord says to tell you you waited long but now is the moment now is the time god is reason over your predicament god is reason over your situation and he says i should tell you he's turning things around oh ribababosha regede Bosaka, Rima Mama Mashanda, Rabba Baba Baba. Yeah, da, da. This is your first time hearing this woman of God pray for you. I am sent here for you. Yes, God has sent me to tell you tonight. He is acting on your behalf. Likaba shatala baba. Stop crying. Stop worrying. Stop feeling depressed. Rega baba bo shata. The Lord says he's acting on your behalf. The, it's a quick word. It's a quick word for you. Yes, you. This is your very first time being a part of this session god says he is acting for you he is acting on your behalf god says his hand assists the will of your life oh rababa and that from now henceforth it's gonna be from victory to victory it's gonna be from strength to strength it's gonna be from glory to glory in the name of jesus 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 i deplore the holy ghost to that hospital bed i deplore the Holy Ghost to that room where you're lying in bed reckless and helpless. I deplore the spirit of the Lord tonight. That his hand is extended to you and that you are made whole this very instant. In the name of Jesus, let your numb knees re receive strength. Let your feeble heart receive the strength of God. Let your kidney recover. Oh, let your liver recover. I declare you are healed from that HIV wherever you are connecting from tonight the Lord says he's acting on your behalf the Lord says he's acting on your behalf the you are connecting right now for your mother your mother is in a very critical state and you are just saying god say a word i came in that dimension as a messenger of jehovah to say that word is spoken and that word says rise up and work that word is spoken and that word says god is acting on your behalf in the name of jesus in the name of jesus 
In the name of Jesus, let deaf ears open. In the name of Jesus, let blind eyes begin to see. In the name of Jesus. Adadarabosia, rabababoshike, rima mama mama sata, rika bababoshata ya. You are watching me right now, and you lost your home, you lost your belongings. God has sent me for you tonight. He says I should tell you, don't give up. Help is on the way. Don't give up. He's acting on your behalf. Rabababoshaya. That is God's word for you. You are watching me right now, and you've been contemplating suicide for the past days. Hear ye the word of the Lord. He came that you have life and that you have life abundantly. I came tonight with the word of intervention for you. Don't commute suicide. Don't commit suicide. God is showing up for you. God is showing up for you in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Maleko bo shakaya, lika bo satele bayata, robo bo bo shekele bababaya, rabababa shekere bababa. I am praying for somebody who wants to give up. Don't give up. God says He's rising to act on your behalf. You've been oppressed, you've been insulted, you've been depressed, you've been rejected, you've been isolated. Lakada ba shata, leka baba. You're even an orphan. You lost your mother, you lost your father. God says I should tell you. He is your father. God says, I should tell you, he's taking over you, the, the issues of your life. Oh, come on, somebody. Rabababoshaka. I want you very quickly to share this link. I want you very quickly to subscribe if you've not subscribed. I want you very quickly, very quickly to drop a comment. I want you to say, woman of God, I'm the one that you are talking to. I'm the one that God is using you to minister to. Oh, Rabababashia. Regebosakalaba. You walk out of a relationship and if this is feeling to you like this is the end of it somebody walked out of your life and you are watching right now and you feel like you feel like just 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 drinking poison you, you feel like losing it god says don't give up there is hope there is help he's acting on your behalf oh he is acting on your behalf it's only gonna get better and bigger god says i should tell you he's sending somebody that is better he's sending somebody that is better come Come on, somebody. If I'm talking to you, I want your amen to be louder. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Mashikalabo setele bayaha. Yeah, just joining us. This is healing campaign with Prophetess Jerusha. And God says he is acting now. That's a prophetic word for tonight. God bless you for joining. God bless you for joining. Tell somebody to tell somebody to tell another person. Weekends are not complete without healing campaign. God says he is acting now. God says, I should tell you, he is acting now. I don't know if I have a believer in the house. I don't know if, if, if somebody be... I, I, I need your faith here right now. I need your faith because this is that word that's going to take you out of it. This is that word that's going to take you out of it. It's an urgent. God says he's taking you out of it now. He is taking you out of it now. Oh, Yes, God says he's taking you out of suicidal thoughts now. God says he's taking you out of a feeling of rejection now. I need somebody's amen rising. I, I want to I want to know that I'm talking with you. I want I want to be sure that our spirits are connected in line with what the Lord is saying tonight. That's a prophetic word. He says, God says, I should tell you, He's acting now. God says He is acting now. It is urgent, He is acting now. Oh, yes, He's acting. I want you to share. Healing complaint is not complete without. I mean, weekends are not complete without healing campaigns. I want you to get the number of people here. God, this word is a strategy. Somebody needs to hear this. Somebody needs to hear your own millions. And you, you feel like just losing your life. God says there's hope for you. There is hope for you. People are coming after you. God says there is hope for you. God says he is acting now. If only you will believe him again. Oh, Rigaba Sukala, Mama, Mama. He's, if only you will believe him again. Welcome, Vincia Jesus. If only you will believe God again. He says he's acting now. He says he's acting now. 
He says he's acting now. The time is now. He says the hand of his hand, his hand is lifted. That's a prophetic word for tonight. His hand is lifted and he's acting now. Oh, God says he's acting now. I want you to write it out if you're getting the words that are coming out of my mouth. Write it. Say, God is acting on my behalf now. Write it. it says, God is acting on my behalf now. In that issue, in your office, in that marriage, in that business, God is acting now. I need you to write it out. I need you to write it out. I need you to write it. Don't just say I receive. Say, God is acting now. And our anchor scripture for tonight is Psalm 119. Psalm 119. Oh, Rabba Babo Shaya. Leonga says, talk to me, mother. Yes, Leonga. God is acting now. I want, us, I want us to get a further confirmation of God's word. Welcome, Anne. Welcome, Anne. Vegili, Vegili Anne. God bless you. I want us to get an, an, a confirmation, a scriptural confirmation from God's word. Psalm 119, verse 126. Psalm 119, verse 1. Somebody's asking, woman of God, how do you know that God is speaking? Because it is confirmed in his word. Because it is confirmed in his word. Yes, God is acting on your behalf now. You are trusting God to pay your fee. God is acting. He's the God of now. That's why it says, now faith is. Now faith is. Which means if God is acting now, your faith has got to be the now faith. If God is acting now, yes, your faith has got to be the now faith. If God is acting now, you're, I need you to, to come alive with your faith. Is Jennifer there? Let's get some one. Some one nineteen. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Some one nineteen. Malabashi kalabobo setele bayaha. Rekodo do 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 bayaha. Psalm 119. Thank you, Father. Psalm 119. I want, I want us to get a confirmation of this word from the word of God. Psalm 119. I'm going to read from verse 1. I'm going to read verse 1, verse 121. And then I'm going to read verse 126. Verse 121 says, I have done justice and righteousness. Do not leave me to my oppressors. Be shorty for your servant for good. Do not let the proud oppress me. I, I want to give you the reasons why God is acting on your behalf. I want, I want, I want you to understand scripturally why God says he is standing up for you tonight. He, why God is saying he's standing up for you in this season. I, I want you to get it clear. I have done justice. And righteousness. You know, there, there are times you feel like you've done your best, yet you're still under that yoke, yet you're still under that challenge, yet you're still in, you still feel like you're in obscurity. You put in your best, you took all the measures not to fail in that business. You, you, you're reading books not to fail in marriage. You're reading books not to fail in school. You're reading, you're reading, I mean, you're putting in your best. So I have done justice and righteousness. Do not leave me to my oppressors. Who has been oppressing your life? The Lord says he is acting now. Oh, What is that area of life where you feel oppressed? You smile over every other area. Oh, some to, you're watching me. Some to some people, your problem is not even money. But you can you can smile over every other area except this area. You, you feel oppressed. You feel there's an abnormal force that you know, is stronger than you to handle. There is this area of your destiny where you feel like it is it, beyond you. God says he's acting tonight. Oh, Ramama Shaya. Come on, come on. God says he's acting. Maybe you're watching me and you've done all you can do and you're still being oppressed by a particular disease. There were times you pray and you, you go and check and it's still there. God says, I should tell you, he is acting now. He is acting tonight. He says his hand is risen and he's acting on your behalf. Oh, Rabba Babo Shaya, da 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 ba 
Say, do not leave me to my oppressors. Be shorty for your servant for good. Do not let the proud oppress me. Do not let the proud oppress me. One of the reasons why God is acting urgently on your behalf is because there are people that are flaunting their victory. Not because they're celebrating themselves, but because they want to provoke you. Do you remember a woman called Penina in the Bible who provoked Hannah? Hannah didn't have a child. Penina had, was having children upon children or having child upon child. And, and she was putting it, she was putting it in, 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 in Hannah's face. You know, there's a difference between just being grateful to God for what God is doing in your life. And then getting somebody provoked for what God is doing in your life. That was the situation of Hannah. Hannah had Penina on her neck provoking her. Oh, I got children. You don't have children. And then all of that. And it began to build an atmosphere of sorrow and grief around Hannah. But a day came when the hand of God was lifted. Oh, like some people will say 99 days for the thief and one day for the owner. The, a day came where that oppression in the life of Hannah ceased the day that God acted. This is a prophetic word. I, I hear it very strong in my spirit. This is going to be the season in somebody's life that God is going to act or mama, And it will take your enemies by surprise. If you don't get it, I'm going to get it for myself. This is as oh yakabo shikalaba satala bababaya. This is a prophetic season where God is arising over. Uh, please, I want to see your amens. I want to get your amen. I, I want to get your amen rising. Malabo shialadabaya. The ones that waited for you to be ashamed. The ones that waited for you to go down. The ones that waited for you to be in trouble. The one this season, God says his hand is lifted. The ones that provoked you with their success, they put it right to your face and they used it to mock you. God says his hand is acting on your behalf. Of course, honey, you're, you're the apple of... I've said it many times. I use, always use a very simple illustration. You're the apple of the Lord's eye. It, seems, it means the apple of an eye simply means this black spot in the main in the main eye, which means anytime you're crying, God is crying. There is no way water can be produced by the dark spot of your eye without the whole eye being teary. That's why God is going to act on your behalf now. That's why God's going to heal you. You didn't hear me. God is going to set somebody free tonight. Because it's time to act this now. Oh, Rabba Babo Shandaya. Verse 126, what does it say? It says, it is time for you to act. Verse 126, it says, it is time for you to act, O oh Lord. For they have regarded your, they have regarded your law as void. Psalm 126, it's time for you to act, O oh Lord. For they have regarded your law as void. I want to talk to somebody who has faith in God. Who's believing God for something. And maybe it's not materializing. And people have insulted you. They've made, they've, they've made your Christianity of no effect. They, they have, they've, they've, they've literally put it out to your face, face. And they've said, maybe they've given you other solutions. And maybe because of your stance in the Lord, you, you, you didn't want those solutions. God says he's acting on your behalf now. God says, I should tell you, he's acting on your behalf now. Oh, I feel led in my spirit to pray for all, all amazing people connected on this platform. The ones connected to Zion family all over the world. Please get everybody here. This is not the word to me. God says he's is acting, he's acting now. He is acting now. Oh, Don't consider that, 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 that wrong decision. God says it is as urgent as he is acting now. Thank you, precious Holy Spirit. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. And before I end this session, I want to tell you what to do. What to do to trigger God's actions every time. How do I get God present and continuous in my situation? Yes, he's going to act now. How do I get him to act tomorrow? How do I get him to act in the days ahead? It's important to know what triggers. How, how do I strategically position myself for God to keep acting, not just in one night, but every day? Point number one, you must accept that you are a candidate for mercy. You must accept you are a candidate of mercy. Never feel less spiritual when you are asking for God's mercy. 
The problem with many people is that every time you are faced with saying, God, show me mercy, you always think that it's for, it's for babies, it's for people who, you know, who don't know their rights in the Lord. I can let you know something. The mercy of God is not just the, an expression of him when you have done a wrong thing. The mercy of God is, is God's extension. It's God's compassion. It's God turning to your direction. The mercy of God, that's what the Bible says, for thou shalt arise and have mercy for the set time to favor Zion has come. Which means the mercy of God is the extension of the favor of God upon the life of a person. So whether you are right or you are wrong, if you want God to always act in your situation, mention that issue and say, Father, I come to the end of myself, show me your mercy. Oh, I don't know if somebody's taking down notes tonight. Always normalize telling God to show you his mercy. Whether you're wrong, whether you're right, normalize. Mercy, you, the, telling God to show you mercy simply means God. Let your hand be extended over this matter. That is deliberately involving God. Not in pride and arrogance, but through the triggers of his word, of his compassion. Yes. God, show me mercy. I think it was blind Bartimaeus in the Bible that said, that, that said, oh, son of David, have mercy on me. Have mercy on me. You know how a lot of people say, no, I didn't do anything wrong. I've been living right. I don't even know I'm going through what I'm going through. I don't deserve this. And all of that arrogance does not help. If God must always act in your direction, you must be somebody that is subject to his mercy. That is pivotal. That is pivoted to it you must make his mercy an epicenter of your of your everything and the things you want to have the mercy god show me mercy over my career show me mercy over my business show me mercy over the ministry show mercy over the church yes 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 i i know what you think i know what you think most of the times when people have said ask god for his mercy you always feel like oh it's because you did something wrong no 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 it's honey it's not it's not just about what wrong you did it's about getting god involved from the most humble angle into the challenge into the situation somebody you're watching right now you need a lot to show your family mercy receive it right now oh you, you need god to show somebody mercy who is lying in the hospital bed receive it right now you need god to show, show somebody mercy who, who, who just had an accident and the leg is getting rotten or amputated amputated receive the mercy of god in jesus name you're watching right now and there's a friend of yours that I explained something to you is beyond your measures of handling and you are worried. God says his mercy is being extended. So when God is acting on our behalf, we must be candidates of mercy. I want you to look at your life and even look at some of the things you don't have and say, God, show me mercy and give me this thing. That's how to be positioned to enjoy God acting on your behalf by day, by night. And all the time, normalize, acknowledge the mercy of God in your life every day. Lamentation chapter 3. Lamentation chapter 3 from verse 22 to 23. It says, they say the steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. His mercies never come to an end. They are new every morning and great is his faithfulness. They are new every morning and great is his faithfulness. That is how much mercy God has for you. They're new every morning. So there's never going to be a day like God's going to say, oh, no, stop asking. Why do you think God says that his mercies are new every morning? That's to let you know that beyond your wrongs or your right, his mercy is the driving wheel of your daily life. That's to let you know that beyond your wrongs or your right, it is, it is his mercy that lets, that gets you going, that keeps you going. It is the steadfast love of the Lord never, his mercies never come to an end. So mercy is like getting God's hand involved in the matter whether you are wrong or right. Stop saying, oh, oh, no, I know I didn't sin. One week I haven't committed any sin. You know, sometimes for, for some people, instead of asking God to show them mercy in the area of their need, they go like, oh, I, I have not committed any sin for one month. I, I, I know you are the righteousness of God. I know God has gifted you with his righteousness. But when it comes to attracting his favor, you got to say, Lord, show me mercy. And sometimes God is just waiting for that humility. 
Sometimes God is just waiting for you to turn down your pride and say, God, I just need your mercy over this issue. Sometimes God just doesn't need all of your explanations of arrogance. How you read the Bible back to back. He doesn't need that. How, how, how you done this for him and done this. For... Sometimes just say, Father, I come in all humility. Show me your mercy. I need somebody to say loud amen. amen. Point number two. How do I position myself such that God keeps acting on my behalf? I hope all my sons and daughters or all sons and daughters of Zion all over the world. I hope you're taking down notes. I hope you're taking down notes. How do I strategically position myself that God keeps acting on my behalf? You must learn to pray prayers of warfare. The Bible says the kingdom of God suffered violent and only the violent shall take it by force. Point number two or point number some three. You've got to engage the force of spiritual warfare. Psalm 68 from verse 1 to 5. It says, let God arise and let his enemies be scattered. Let God arise and let his enemies be scattered. Stop being too psychedelic all the time. I know you're, I know you're usually not garrulous. I, I know that you're a very pious person. I know that you're a very composed person, but honey... Concerning that issue, I need you to wage a war. God, it, 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 it's time to arise and wage a war. And say, God, arise over my business and let every enemy be scattered. Arise over my ministry. Arise over my career and let every enemy be scattered. We are not ignorant of the devices of the enemy. We are not ignorant that there are oppressors. We are not ignorant that there are evildoers. We are not ignorant of the wickedness of the wicked. Oh, Rababa. But if God must act on our behalf, you got to raise a prayer of warfare. Kalabosha, kalababa. Da, da, da. You got to get it a little violent sometimes. Manana Bosha. You got to open your door sometimes and say, Devil, get out of my house and stop afflicting all my kids. Yes, yes, yes. You got to wake up sometimes in the night and say, Enough is enough. You got to wake up sometimes and say, Devil, take your hand off my child. Take your hands off my finances. Take your hands off my ministry. Take your hands off my children. Take your hands off my spiritual children. Take your hands off my life. Take your hands off my marriage. Take your hands off. Take your hands off. Take your hands off. Take your hands off. Do you have some warfare shoes there? Or you're just eating in dream and you get up and you drink water. You just eat and eat and eat and you, you think it's okay. Please, it's not okay. You, you have people coming to sleep between your, in your dream and you think it's okay. It's not okay. It's not okay. You got to sit up. You got to do some warfare, honey. You, you, you got to war. You got to tell the devil, enough is enough. Get out of here. And it's going to get out of God. Get out of there. The Bible says, submit yourself therefore unto the Lord. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. Submit yourself therefore unto the Lord. Resist the devil and he will flee. This, this, this stupid man called devil needs you to resist him, honey. Stop, stop playing fair with him. Stop, stop playing fair with him. You've been too peaceful at the place of prayer. And God is saying, if you must act on your behalf tonight, you got to raise a warfare. You got to raise a warfare. It's either in words or in praise. You got to raise a warfare, makaba shakala baba bosaya, rekobo shikala baba yatala baya ha. Come on, somebody. Raise a warfare, and God acts immediately. Don't just be oppressed in the night and you get up and it's all okay. It's not okay. You had a funny dream. It's not okay. Malabo shikala baba baya da 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 ha. You, 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 you're in a dream and you, you, you got to fight all the time. You, you, you basically are shouting G Jesus and your voice is not even coming out. When you get up from a dream like that, you got to raise your voice and say, devil, get out of here. That's how to get God act. satire. You get up in the night and see the Bible says the angels of the Lord encamps around them that fear him. Devil, get out and I engage angels on my stuff tonight. And you will see how God begins to act immediately. You will see how God begins to act on your behalf urgently. You got to, you got to, 
I told people many times, don't select what you do warfare over. Do warfare for your kids. Do warfare for your children. Do warfare for your husband. Do warfare for your wife. Devil, get your hands off my wife. She can't be a sick wife. The Bible says he that finds a wife finds a good thing that obtains favor. I obtain favor getting this woman so she's not going to be a cup of bitterness. you got to go to the Lord in prayer and stop being vocal all the time or verbal all the time. It is not every battle that is one, should I say, equivocally. There are battles that are won at the place of prayer. You want to see the hand of God act? It's not, it's not everything that you, 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 you got to handle physically. There are things you got to handle on your knees. And you will see God act. Come on, you're just joining us. This is Healing Campaign with Prophetess Jerusha. And the prophetic word for tonight, the Lord says he is going to act now. He's, he's, he's going to act on your behalf. He's going to act on my behalf. To everyone connected to this, to, this, to this anointing, to this grace, that's a prophetic word for this week. God is acting on your behalf. I'm a lover of knowledge, but not everything can be, not everything is really logical. There are things you got to go down on your knees and say, God, this person has got to let me go. This, this, this oppressor has got to take their hands off of my family. I like the way Message Bible puts it. I like that we have Message Bible. Psalm, Psalm 68 verse 1. I'm wrapping up this session tonight. God is acting on your behalf. God is acting on your behalf. Point number one, I said normalize praying a prayer of mercy. Prayer of mercy is not just for sinners. Prayer of mercy, your prayer of mercy is attracting God. It's getting God involved. Your longer says I'm preaching good. Yes. Stop feeling complex when they say pray, ask for God. Stop, stop feeling less of yourself. Stop, stop feeling less spiritual. It, it, it's a kind of, should I call it spiritual pride or what? Don't feel less spiritual anytime you want to ask God for God's mercy. Because it says they are new every morning. Point number two, engage the force of spiritual warfare. Engage the force of spiritual warfare. Most things happen in the realms of the spirit before they manifest in the physical. There are spiritual battles you cannot handle in the physical. Engage the force of the spirit. Resist the devil. In prayer. And of course, if you are baptized in the Holy Ghost, it's an added advantage. It is an added advantage. Because when you speak in tongues, you, you speak mysteries that scare the enemy away and, and, and bring God's hand into action. I pray for somebody tonight hearing my voice that by reason of this knowledge, you are outgrowing that challenge. Yes, somebody wrote here that, that she's coming out of depression. You can rebuke the spirit of depression and it will flee from you. Yes, you, you, you normalize rebuking the spirit of depression. And you should be able to know the signs of depression. You want to be alone. You don't want to talk to anybody. You want to think of either somebody that you lost or you want to think of something, something. You, you just want to be, I just want to be. You heard some people say, I'm getting my me time. I don't want anybody. I lock myself in here for one week. Those are signs, demonic signs of depression. Shakaya Baba Bosha. Those are demonic signs of depression. Know the devil when he's knocking and knock him off and take him, take him by surprise. Take him off by surprise. Take him off by surprise. Oh, shakaya bababosaya. Don't wait until when you are in depression and you've already you've already mixed the parazone. Or you've tasted some of it and then it's already do. No, 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 no. You should know. Bible says we are not ignorant of the devices of the enemy. You should know when he is beginning. He, he, when he's getting closer, you should know. 
And what do you do? You get God acting. We can, you can get God at all, Lakabaya. You can get God in action in your life. You can get God's action real over your situation. I pray for somebody tonight that by reason of this knowledge, your life has received a new direction. God says he's acting on your behalf. God says he's acting on your behalf. Somebody you were pierced in your back in a dream. And from that day, you've always had this back ache that is unbearable. You were pierced in your dream. And you've always had this back ache that is so unbearable. God says he's acting on your behalf tonight. Malakabo shalabayaha. God says he's acting on your behalf tonight. God says he's acting on your behalf tonight. That's a word I came with. I'm wrapping up in a few minutes. You are just joining us. This is Healing Campaign with Prophetess Jerusha with the word of God coming live and amazing testimonies. I'm so excited. One of our sisters on this platform, she got to me and said, a, a word, hi, hi, Rajitha. You're welcome to Healing Campaign. God is speaking to you that he's acting on your behalf, Rajitha. God is acting on behalf. Rajitha, God is acting on your behalf. Rajitha, God is stepping in and taking you out of, out of toxicity. God is stepping in and taking you out of that fire of confusion and frustration. God is stepping in and his light is shining on your life. Rajitha. I was just listening to, she, she, she shared a testimony with me, very interesting. On this platform, a, a, a word came. I don't know how many people were here that day. I kept saying God was changing people's jobs from one person to another. And she got a call for a new job with a better pay. That's what God is doing here. If this is your very first time, I want you to always come here with a lot of faith. Not in formality, not just to look at the woman of God's face. Not just to listen to me like you listen to every other person. I want you to hear the now gospel and get the now miracle and the now testimony. Yeah, because God sent me here. I'm mandated to be here. I'm not on my own. So when I'm speaking, God is backing immediately with testimonies, with signs and wonders. Just this week, I, we had two of our brothers in the church blessed with new cars. That's what God is doing. That's what God is doing. I, I've been so elated my spirit between yesterday and today receiving those testimonies. It is amazing. And somebody, I, I, I shared this because I want to assure you that God is doing it for you this season. God will do it for you. What are you believing the Lord for? I want to pray for you tonight. And after you've received the word of the Lord, it suffices to know that God is acting. God is risen to act on your behalf. You are sick. I declare in the name of Jesus that his hand is extended to you. You are free from that oppression. You are free from that challenge. You are free from that difficulty. In the name of Jesus. I declare and I decree that the hand of God comes alive in your life from tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, shake Whatever you connected to this session, believing the Lord for. Rika bo satila barata tia nano salabaya. Raba baba regede bo shibala baba bo saya. Riga baba ba shakaya braba. I declare that God is acting on your behalf now. Akum Juliet. God is acting on your behalf. I want you to, I want you to write, I want you to say amen so I can mention your name and pray with you now before I go. Leonga, God is acting on your behalf. Echi Yunis, God is acting on your behalf. Nto Bella Rosaline, God is acting on your behalf. It's urgent. God is acting on your behalf. Oh, I pray for somebody. You've been feeling abnormalities in your, in your womb. You've been feeling abnormalities somewhere around your stomach. God says he is acting on your behalf, Mabel Niba. God says he's acting on your behalf, Ajon Charles. God, please, please begin to say those amen. So I begin to call your name right now. And we begin to put, we introduce divine intervention in the matter. In the name of Jesus. Akum Juliet, 
God is acting on your behalf. I want you to, I want you to begin to say amen. I want to mention your name now and pray with you before I go. I want to mention your name now and pray with you before I go. You connected with the pain on the stomach, you're healed. Adeline, Ache, you are healed. You are free from that oppression. You are free from that prison situation. In the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, I welcome every newcomer here. This is your very first time connecting. Welcome to the place of miracles. God is setting somebody free here tonight. In the name of He is acting on your behalf. Akum Julia, that pain under your stomach is uh, under the stomach of my sister. That pain is gone. Linda Pewin, God is acting on your behalf in the name of Jesus. Do we have any sick people here tonight? God is acting on your behalf. You are healed in the name of Jesus. You are healed. Linda says, I connect from my, from my dad. I declare in the name of Jesus, your dad is healed. God is acting on his behalf. God is acting on his behalf. I cancel any cancer diagnosis. I declare and I decree he is healed in the name of Jesus. There shall be no prostate. There shall be no blood pressure issues. Healed by the power of God in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, you can also feel free to mention that area where you want God to act. And I just be the, uh, I'm gonna just be declaring and praying for you. You are healed in that area where you want the Lord to act. I want you to just write it in one line, and I'm gonna be believing the Lord with you together. I declare freedom tonight. The hand of God act on your behalf. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Marabo shata. In the name of Jesus, Rabababo Shedele Brosata. In the name of Jesus, Rabababo Shanda Labaya Talabaya. Kayanana Moshinanam. I declare healing upon somebody with a th thyroid gland issue. A thyroid gland issue. The person is healed. In the name of Jesus, wherever and whenever you watch me, God says this is the end of that predicament. You will not suffer it again. Somebody with piercings in the stomach. You sit and you feel like your, your stomach is pierced with needle-like structures, something like that. You, you feel that piercing in your stomach. I declare and I decree you are healed in the name of Jesus. I declare blood pressure issues go down by the hand of God. I declare receive a new kidney in the name of Jesus. I declare gastric ulcer disappear in the name of Jesus. Wound ulcers disappear in the name of Jesus. Brain tumors disappear in the name of Jesus. Maraba shanda labaya growths disappear in the name of Jesus. Rika mama mo shika labra babayata. Eye problems disappear in the name of Jesus. Blood vision cease in the name of Jesus. Leka bashata ikalarabosia reke bro shanda labra arthritis get out in the name of Jesus. Somebody is suffering from lack of fluid. The doctor said fluid is, there's no fluid somewhere. I just heard that in my spirit. I declare restoration. You are healed. You are free. In the name of Jesus. I declare broken bones healed. In the name of Jesus. Broken bones, fractured body parts healed in the name of Jesus. You want God. Even body parts to grow. I declare the hand of God be extended. Let God act on your issue. And may you receive your miracle right now. In your academics, Leonga, the Lord be revealed himself. Let the hand of God act in the name of Jesus. The intervention of God tonight. The intervention of God tonight. That's what I keep hearing. I just feel like praying for somebody in my spirit before, before, you, before we end the session. Lika Robo bobo sekele braka da 
Shanda. I hear intervention. Me kanama sunda labaya. Ikade ba shika laba shata lata labaya. I hear intervention. Le gada bata nana shalata. I hear intervention. Le kade barika du zabalata. Regede bashaya. There is pressure somewhere. There is an emergency somewhere. And all I hear the Lord say is divine intervention. I hear the Lord say, say divine intervention has come for somebody here. Regada bo shakata. Lika bo sata. Regede barika nanamashanda. Your goods are recovered. You will not lose them. The contract is recovered. You will not lose it. In the name of Jesus. Help us come for you tonight. Help us come for you tonight. Mandala babo shaya. Help us come for you tonight. God is in action. I leave you with this one word. God is in action. God says he's acting. He's giving you those documents. Urgently. Adjunct Charles. God says he's releasing those documents to you faster than you ever thought. God says he's releasing those documents to Adjunct Charles faster. 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 Faster than you ever thought. And he says, I should tell you before, it, in the, as we as you enter the next quarter of the year, because March ends the first quarter. As you enter the next quarter of the year, there are mind-blowing testimonies. Amazing doors that he's opening for you, Adjunct Charles. I see the way before you very clear and clean. God's hand is acting in your favor. In your favor. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, for what you've done tonight. Give praise. Give him praise, somebody. Give him praise. Give God a high 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 praise. Tell him, Father, thank you. Tell him, Father, thank you. Rababosha. Tell him, Father, thank you. Makabayata. Tell him, Father, thank you. Regedebo Shabaladadabaya. Tell him, Father, somebody you're critically pregnant and you are so afraid. Should I say you are at the verge of delivering your baby? You're so, you're so much in fear. The Lord says, fear not. You, you'll be delivered of your baby like a Hebrew woman. You're also connecting for somebody that is pregnant. That word is for them. There shall be no loss. There shall be no casualties. In the mighty name of Jesus. Lift up your voice and begin to thank the Lord for what he has done. And you feel like connecting to what God has done tonight by way you feel led in your spirit to give an offering. You feel led in your spirit to give a, a, a seed. You're paying your tithe, whatever God is laying in your heart to do. Please do it. You want to also give to sponsor the spread of the word of the Lord on this platform through your favorite woman of God. The Lord bless you as you do that. While I was ministering, I had some people already giving. It has become a culture. It has become, you know, not something they do grumbling, not something they do, but they do it with joy. I declare that every hand that was sowing the seed while I was ministering is blessed in the name of Jesus. Amen. Had some people connecting with an offering, had some people giving. The Lord bless you. Please don't give grumbling. You got to do it with joy. If you must do it, do it with joy. If you're letting your spirit you are pushed by an urge beyond your control. You may not know what it means to be led by the Spirit. But you are pushed by an urge and an impression beyond your control. God bless you. You can make use of the contacts uh, and the, yeah, the contacts in the, in the comment session. You can make use of the details in the comment session. And God bless you for giving. God bless you for joining me to spread the word of the Lord through your giving on this platform on Healing Campaign. I love you very much. And I'm looking forward to having us. Same time, next week, every Thursday and Friday is Healing Campaign. But while we wait for the next session, I want you to always stay connected on this channel because there's always going to be a word of exaltation. There's going to be a message. It may be, uh, you know, it may be audio. But there's always going to be something on this channel, on this healing campaign link that is going to be a big blessing to you.
If you're not subscribed, please do what to subscribe, do what to like, do what to share, and also touch the notification bell so that every time that we are connected, you're going to be connected. God bless your giving. God bless your love. God bless you for being there. In Jesus' mighty name, amen.